What's up guys, welcome back with another mind blowing video. Imagine playing PlayStation 3 games right on your Android device. Sound like dream, doesn't it? But guess what, it's not just possible, it's happening. Now I know many of us have been down the Google Play Store rabbit hole trying every so-called PS3 emulator only to find clickbait crushing disappointment. Honestly, I gave up on the idea of playing PS3 games on mobile until one of you my awesome viewers dropped a game-changing suggestion. Let me tell you this emulator is total game-changing. You. So stick around because I'm diving deep into how you can play PlayStation 3 games on your Android phone. Let's make it happen. Before we start the video, let me introduce Ant Station 3, a PlayStation 3 emulator inspired by RPCS3, the leading PS3 emulator for PC and Station 3 allows PlayStation 3 games to be played on your mobile devices. Let's drive into the system requirement. For the minimum system requirements, you will need Snapdragon 780 processor 6GB of RAM and Adreno 6X as series. For the recommended requirements, aim for a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 or above 8GB of RAM and Adreno 7XX series GPU. Unfortunately, Mali is not supported. Also make sure you have 50GB of free storage. Now it's time to download the Station 3 emulator. Tap on the link to get the Station 3 APK as well as OBB file. One more element we need to download is the Tarmax X11 application. Another important element is the PlayStation 3 firmware which you can easily get from the PlayStation official website. Ensure that your internet connection is stable. After downloading all these elements, we are going to install and station 3. Open your files file manager or navigate to the download folder. You should see and station 3 apk file here. Tap on it. You might see a warning about Google Play Protect blocking the application. Still, we can safely install it. Install the Tarmax X11 application and launch the application. Open the Preferences option. Here you have to choose the display resolution. I recommend it using a lower resolution. Enable stretching to fit the display. Also enable full screen mode. Now launch the and Station 3 application. The app may ask for certain permissions so make sure to grant them. We need to install the obb file that we downloaded earlier. Navigate to the folder likely in the download folder. Install the obb file. It will take few minutes to install so be patient. After that tap on run rpcs3 to launch the emulator. You will see the rpcs3 interface. However, the setup process isn't done yet. Click on file in the top right corner then select install firmware. Then select the file and open it. Within a few seconds it will say ps3 firmware has been successfully installed. We are almost ready to play games but there are a couple of things we still need to configure. Go to the config option at the top bar then CPU settings. Leave everything at the default settings except set mega in SPU block size another GPU section set Vulkan as renderer for the default resolution leave it at 720p disable the anti-aliasing option now switch to the emulator tab and enable the performance overlay option at the last don't forget to click on the save button to save all the changes let's configure the controls by clicking on pads connect your keyboard via otg if you want to change the keys simply assign your desired keys in the controls however i found the default keys to be perfect Next, let's install games on the emulator. So go to the file option again, then add games. Now select the game file from your file manager. It will take roughly 3 to 5 minutes to complete the installation. 
and enjoy the experience of playing PS3 games right on your mobile device. That's it. If you think this video is useful, please like and subscribe to our channel. No more today. See you in the next video. Take care.